Hello Virgo, fearless Virgo people, let's do your reading uh, mid-January, but these energies for most of you will extend beyond January into February, March, possibly April for some of you. So let's do this. Universe, please step in, show clear messages that you need Virgo people to see, to help them on their spiritual journey. Um... Well, we all know there are millions of Virgo people out there, but the ones that are meant to see this video will see it at the time when they are supposed to see it. So let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very important messages for the sign of Virgo to help them in their spiritual journey. Two of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Aha. Uh -huh. So you are trying to figure out what to do about your situation with the person that you love. Here is the lover's card. So it's somebody that's dear to your heart that you have connection with from other lifetimes when you were together. You want to, you don't want to give up on this connection. You want to work on this connection. Um, very slow energy, slow moving energy showing up here. You could be dealing with any sign whatsoever. Could be earth sign, uh, any earth sign. Also, Gemini showed up in here. Could be also Libra or any uh, air sign as well. Let's see clarification. Universe, please show clarification for these messages for Virgo. Yeah, page of cups. Oh, yeah. So somebody loves you, Virgo. Somebody loves you and wants to re-enter your life. But they are taking their sweet time because they want to make sure they come in at the right time. And they are ready with grounded energy. They don't want to come in to uh, show you empty promises, empty words. They want to deliver something and they really want to work on this connection. So you love the person and the person loves you. Yes, they're coming. They are coming with this chariot card. Yeah, it's, it's stressful to them um, and it's stressful to you. The connection is very deep. So being away from each other and not communicating is very stressful to both of you. This also means uh, love offer, but it also means apologies. But this person is determined to re-enter your life. Let's see more. More um, messages for Virgo. Clarification for Virgo. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands. So messages are coming. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to work on this connection. They do. Queen of Pentacles. So a lot of you are dealing with another Earth sign, whether it's uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Also fire showed up and water but they don't know they're confused they don't know how to re-enter your life what to say how to say it they know what they want to say but yeah so they want to manifest this they really want to re-enter your life yeah and six of pentacles showing up twice from two different decks they really want to prove to you that they will put in wor the actual work. Yeah, the world card. Beautiful. So uh, in a lot of cases, this person is far away from you, whether it's physical uh, distance or emotional, spiritual distance. This person lives either in another town or even another country. Far away. Wow, far away from you. Let's see. So we didn't ask about them and they showed up in this reading. 
We asked about messages and they showed up in here. So they're thinking of you, Virgo. Universe, please step in and show clear messages. What is the other person, the soulmate of Virgo, feeling towards Virgo? And what are the soulmate's intentions towards Virgo? The soulmate's intentions and feelings towards Virgo. Wow. King of Cups. So this person loves you. This person is in love with you, but they're not telling you. They're not expressing it to you. And this, in this particular deck, the depiction of King of Cups, uh, this person is sad. So while this person is in love, this person is very sad and contemplating and thinking. This person not only loves you, but they have a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion and love for you. Yes. And so you got two aces. All aces are good. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So with Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups, this shows very clearly that this person recognizes that what they feel for you is real. They're not imagining it. They know it's true for you. They are confused. Let me clarify these. Universe, please step in. Clarify these energies. For how the other person, the soulmate of Virgo, feels towards Virgo and their intentions towards Virgo. So you are their wish. They want to be with you. They feel in their heart that you are the one. Yeah. So the Ace of Wands with the Lover's card. So they want to be with you in a romantic union. That's what it means. Not only that, it means soulmate connection from past lifetimes. They want to. They want to come to you and tell you very honestly that they want to give you something tangible not just empty words they want to put solid work into this aha uh -huh. very interesting so with the moon and six of pentacles it shows that they recognize that they haven't been putting in enough effort whether it was enough communication or enough work for this connection to work for both of you. Uh, so they are confused in how to do it. So they're not good at a Virgo. They are not good at communication, but they really trying, they really want to. They really want to. They just not, Virgo is very good with communication. We, I mean, the only time we cut people off is when we are fed up and we had enough of bullshit. But we are the talkers. We like to communicate. We like to uh, exchange ideas. We like to uh, analyze. Uh, we love to communicate. We love to express what we think, what we feel. And we want to hear the same from people that we care about. But this person is not good in communication. And they don't want to make the same mistakes. So they want. They also want to slowly show you how much you mean to them. This is beautiful. Let's see more. Well, let's see binding energies between the soulmate and you, Virgo. What are the binding energies, universe? What are the binding energies between Virgo and their soulmate? Nine of Cups. Beautiful. So both of you want to work on this. Both of you. Yeah. Chariot again. So this is going to be a success. So it looks like some kind of reconciliation is coming. Now, when I say reconciliation, I don't mean like you're going to marry each other like uh, next week. This will, will uh, 
depend on how much you work put into this connection but it shows that you'll be able to reconnect and talk again and decide what you want to do in this connection with each other aha uh -huh. they are sad and so are you they're a little stubborn over here not only that this person holds some high position somewhere so this person is established and uh, respected by people universe please step in these uh, clarify these energies for binding energies between Virgo and their soulmate yeah both of you want to communicate and both of you realize how important honest proper communication is for this to work out properly hermit so you withdrawn virgo you feel very withdrawn you you feel closed off from this person like you don't trust them and they know so a lot of you virgo cut this person out already three of cups so they want to see you yeah they want a fresh start they want to see you want a fresh start they want to talk nine of cups with nine of cups from two different decks so that's your wish to re-establish this connection and it's their wish as well yeah so both of you want to work on this even though you you seem upset and they seem upset both of you want to work on this ten of cups oh my gosh so they realize this person realizes now that they miss you and you are absent from their life they realize how much joy and happiness they have with you yeah most definitely this person wants reconciliation with this judgment card over here and the fool most definitely they want to reconcile you do too virgo you do too want to reconcile yes you do um let me see all kinds of signs showed up in here fire signs water signs all kinds of signs uh, earlier earth signs so all signs showed up on board let's see advice for virgo advice universe please step in show advice for virgo so you have a lot of passion for this person and you want a new beginning yeah so yeah so both of you this showed up earlier like this i believe or something like that um this person loves you deeply and and has a lot of passion for you and you do for them as well ah so this person um for a lot of you it's a leo uh, this person no matter what sign they are they are keeping tabs on you they are checking up on you uh, to see how you're doing what you're doing if you're interested in anybody else especially if you are the one who cut them out of your life they are checking up on you to see what you're up to so this person truly loves you they're not a stalker but they truly love you and have a lot of passion for you they're just not good with communication universe please step in clarify these energies advice for virgo so we asked advice but the universe is showing you what they up to universe please show advice for the sign of virgo yeah so this person with the page of uh, pentacles and page of swords this person checks up on you but they able to check up on you physically watch you like maybe at your store where you go like a favorite store or something they see you or gym or something like that yeah page of one so they want to communicate with you they do so all these pages means communication magician so they want to extend the olive branch and talk to you death beautiful so death means 
change, major change, transformation to this connection. So the universe is advising you to allow this change to happen. Don't fight it. Don't restrict them. When they make contact with you, don't hang up on them. Talk to them. When they text message you, text message them back. Uh, don't block them because with this kind of uh, soul connection from past lives, uh, you're just going to hurt yourself by blocking them. Uh, you're just going to have to pick up the rough uh, patches on the road in next lifetime. So since you're already here together, you might as well uh, work on it now. Okay, don't don't go with bitter feelings into next lifetime. Okay, uh, work on it now. Uh, if they give you any bullshit, stop them. Uh, Virgos, we Virgos know how to uh, let people know, uh, and uh, we show people boundaries. Uh, and if they can't respect our boundaries, we'll tell them off and leave them. Uh, we, we're not going to put up with any bullshit, but uh, we have to remember to listen to the other person, even if we don't always agree with them, listen to them and, and try to understand their point of view, because we all have different points of view uh, before we cut them out. So it's very important we try to understand them. We don't have to agree with them, but it's good to try to understand where they're coming from and how they're feeling, because every person um, sees things differently, and we all have different lessons to learn. Universe, please clarify these energies. Advice for Virgo. Yeah, so this person will be re-entering your life, and how far they will come in will depend on your reaction to them. So they will be knocking on your door. And when I say knocking on your door, I don't necessarily mean uh, they will be there physically at your door without you inviting them first. Uh, they will be either messaging you or calling you or asking you to meet them. Uh, yeah, actually, they want to meet you face to face, it shows. Um, so they're going within and trying to see your perspective in this situation, in this connection, to understand you better before they try to re-enter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They will be so happy to have you back in their life. Let's see, moon card with death. So there will be end of confusion. The end to confusion in this. Allow this to happen, Virgo. That's what the universe is advising you. Remember, you have a free will to do whatever you want. And if you don't listen to this advice, the universe will not hold it against you uh, or judge you. But since we are asking for advice, they're showing you allow this to happen. And uh, the end to confusion is coming. That's good. Nine. Oh, so you're very independent, Virgo. Very independent. And you are chilling. You are chilling. So there is silence. There is no talking right now. Silence. No communication right now, but this person wants to change that. They want to re-enter and communicate. This person loves you a lot, and you love this person. Let's see more, more messages. Universe, more messages for the sign of Virgo. Uh, King of Swords. Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. More messages for the sign of Virgo. Eight of Cups showing from two different decks. Six of 
that's interesting eight of cups showing from different decks and six of pentacles showing from two different decks seven of pentacles from <laughs> look at this virgo look at this look at this this is so interesting look at this so here we have eight of cups showing up from two different decks six of pentacles showing up from two different decks and seven of pentacles showing up from two different decks so this person showed up here as king of swords meaning they are contemplating they want to think with their rational mind very logically they don't want to make mistakes before they try to enter your life they don't want to mess up they don't want to fuck up they want to do it right so they are thinking logically rationally objectively like a judge they want to make a very fair assessment of current situation in this connection with you they also with the eight of cups especially two showing up here with the eight of cups they want to correct the mistakes in this connection uh whatever mistakes they feel they realize they made they don't want to make them again with the six of pentacles they realize that their biggest mistake on their side was they didn't put enough work into this connection uh, they didn't communicate good enough they didn't give enough in service they didn't uh, put in enough work you were doing the work which is typical for virgo we virgo love to help we love to do things we always caring giving nurturing and people get used to it so when they get used to it they expect it and they take it for granted but we as virgos have to learn to let people put in actual work otherwise it's going to become toxic situation people need to put in work not just rely on us for everything and the seven of pentacles they are assessing this very carefully because they want to enter at the right time they don't want to make a mistake they don't want to upset you either uh, so a lot of you virgo cut this person out of your life let me pick clarifier for seven of pentacles the tower yeah virgo a lot of you cut them out <laughs> yeah and they will shock you they will shock you virgo because you still don't believe that this person will care enough to enter your life to re-enter your life but they will but it's they taking their time because they want to make sure they are grounded enough and, and they can bring something valid something tangible to the table not just empty words that oh yeah i'm gonna be better at communication or i'm gonna be better at this or that they actually want to back it up with proper action not just give you empty words let's see universe um more more messages universe for the sign of virgo please knight of cups two of wands five of swords oh yeah so this person wants to re-enter your life but they don't know which path to take um they know communication was not good let me clarify these energies they miss you they really miss you um for those of you virgo that cut them out they upset about you cutting them out but they do understand why you did it but they nevertheless they still upset and they miss you they miss you they feel your absence deeply yeah this person has a lot of love and passion for you with the ace of wands the world so they are living at a distance from you some of them are in another country 
and some like uh, another town. Yeah, they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to fight anymore. They want to enter your life knowing that it's safe for them to re-enter your life uh, where you're not going to cuss them out or tell them goodbye or shut the door in their face, so to speak. <sighs> yeah, this person is missing you. This person is missing you. <clears throat> yeah they want to they they know apologies will need to be spoken on both sides they love you dearly so <coughs> again i'm coughing <clears throat> hard for me to talk so this person <coughs> has a very hard time expressing you verbally how they feel about you king of cups with page of cups they have a very hard time even thinking on how to tell you that they love you um they don't know how to tell you that um i guess the best thing would be to show you <clears throat> um let's see wow so Virgo, that was very good messages. Very good messages for you, Virgo. Very good. Let's see. Universe, please step in and show um, the sum up message for this reading. What important message do you need, Virgo, to know? Forgiveness. Yeah. So Virgo, for those of you who are pissed off at this person, forgive them and for whatever mistakes you feel they made and as well as whatever mistakes you feel you made in this connection forgive yourself let's read this and they also want you to forgive them um dear one have you been carrying around anger guilt shame or regrets this card indicates that it's time to set down these burdens so that you can spread your wings and fly higher. You are guided to release stored emotions and thoughts that may block you. Forgiveness doesn't mean that what others did to you is okay or that you need to spend time with them. Rather, it means that you are choosing to detox yourself from residual negative thoughts and emotions related to these experiences. Prayer, spending time in nature, cultivating compassion, journaling, support groups, and trauma counseling can help you gain understanding and the motivation to completely forgive. Be sure to forgive yourself for any regrets and release grudges you are holding towards yourself. It's helpful to learn from mistakes made in the past, but not to hang on to them by berating yourself. The point is to increase your confidence and the love in your heart so that you can focus upon your divine purpose. Additional meanings, letting go of the past, adopting a more positive outlook, releasing a toxic relationship with forgiveness, past life healing. So Virgo, this person loves you very much and it looks like they made a mistake or mistakes and so did you. Uh, so if you truly love this individual like it shows you do and just like they love you uh try to work on this okay so if you feel you need to extend olive branch do so if you feel you want to take a chill pill and relax while they working on trying to reconnect with you do so okay do what's best for you what makes you feel comfortable but it's important not to feel um, not to hold any grudges because that's just a very negative emotion that's going to hurt you so virgo if you are resonated with this reading and need a private read you can email me on my email below this video and i thank you for watching and i wish you the best see you next time